Hello everyone, I'm back again. <laughs> Today uh, in this live I will be doing some piece of chalk and we will be having fun with letters again and for this one I'll be uh, working on a chalkboard uh, by Ian Bernard but I made a little adjustments to it but I like the way he did his background so that's what I uh, still got here and the background is all the way at the bottom so there is where we will leave it it's black and we're going to work mostly in white on top of that you know I've been cheating <laughs> I will tell you what I did because you know this is a live one and I don't want to uh, <laughs> mess up everything so let me see uh, I already drew a glass so I will put it in its way down opacity and I will talk you through how I did this. So for just forget about I have this here right now. So when you start out on a blank canvas, we're going to draw a glass and a glass is mostly uh, symmetrical. So I want to have identical parts on the left and on the right side. So I go to my wrench tool, go to canvas, go to drawing, uh, drawing guide, edit drawing guide and choose symmetry. There you will have a perfect line in the middle and it mirror images what you are going to draw. So that's the easy part of drawing a glass. So let's make the top of the glass a little bit rounded. It's just like a sketch, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you know me by now, you know I don't work with perfect. <laughs> so get a large uh, how do you call it? Uh, we say pootje van het glas. The long uh, stick of the glass. I don't know in English. Sorry for that. And we have the feet of the glass. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm a little bit shaky by my hand because it's almost dinner, dinner time and my husband cooked a very well lasagna. At least I could smell it. I think this one is a little bit too big. It's a little bit too round. So I can play with that, go to my um, magic wand and choose liquify and there I can play a little bit with push by pushing this a little bit smaller and also it's still a sketch so you can play along with it it's just approximately how I want the glass to be so that will be all you need for the outline of the glass. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as this is just working for you. So now this little um, guideline is annoying me uh, a lot. <laughs> so I will be working from there on. So what I will do is make this layer less opaque. And now we can start with the glass I drew here. So I can get rid of this layer delete it. You must keep it there because you don't have this layer. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get rid of this line by clicking off drawing guide again. So now it's not there anymore. And you know I've got the perfect one here. So I'm just going to trace it. You can also start out with tracing another glass or a picture of a glass. So that's totally up to you. I'm choosing to work with um, Ian Bernard's chalk, uh, but if you don't have that, no worries. You can use your 6B pencil um, using white on a black background as well. And because I didn't want, because I wanted to have it bigger, I duplicated my brush first, went to properties and bump up the size. And that's how you can get a bigger 6B pencil. So you can use that if you want. I will be going back to Ian Bernard's chalk uh, brushes and uh, Stefan Kuntz has a lovely chalk script brush in it and that's one I'm going to draw with. So I'm just going over and trace over my drawing glass. Sorry, excuse me, I have a little bit thirsty throat. That's all in the life. <laughs> so I'm just going to check my size. I think it's... Oh, I'm still on 6B. 
Yes, the fun part is you see a little bit bumpy edges and that's what I like about this but your 6B pencil will work as well. So now I'm going to slightly trace it. Maybe I, because I have a little bit of shaky hand right now, I'm going to bump this up a little bit like 5860. So I won't be as shaky. And I'm just taking my time to outline this. and create a beautiful glass for it. Just as a practice, because actually we don't need this one. So I'm going to move to a layer on top of that so I can click this off easily afterwards. So I only have these white lines on one layer and go into a layer above. On that layer, I'm going to draw the top of the glass and I can play a little bit with it. I can accentuate more of everything. It's, it's at the bottom and in the foreground. I'm also going to draw these. And I already know what I'm going to draw. So I'm telling you um, already, my sunlight will be coming from this side of my paper. So I'm going to create a little bit of a shadow on this side as well. And it's very weird because my white will be my shadow in this, but that's funny. <laughs> that's okay. And I'm also going to do this with this one. This is in the background and I want this one to be uh, more to the foreground. So I'm going to draw over it less pressure, more pressure, more pressure, less pressure. And in the middle, just a little reflection of some light, just to do this one. I don't like what's happened here, so I'm going to erase it with the same brush, because otherwise I would have a, a very strong line and I don't want that. So now I think this is more correcting. And now um, I think my gloss is okay. So I'm going to get rid of this one, not by deleting it, just get rid of it. And you see uh, the lines underneath it. And now I see this is a little bit bumpy as well, so I can correct it by liquify again, push. Sounds like I'm delivering a baby now. That's not what I'm trying to do. Although a life can feel a little bit like that. <laughs> so. I think this is okay. We're going, you can see now the little lines of this and in here we're going to draw something. And I have to look at my example, what I did. <laughs> I just uh, created this this afternoon. So I'm going to my uh, uh, reference pictures and now you see the image that I'm working on. But I want to uh, import an image I made of my work I just did before this live. Come on, yeah, there it is. Oh, and it's still here. I've got to move it. Oh, sometimes it's hard to move this one. Maybe with the little dots. Yes, here and... You know, I want to write, summer school is awesome and I want to follow the glass. So that's why I'm keeping this outline here. And I'm going to choose the same letters as I did here. Um, I did a bit of a wonky style because, you know, that's my hand lettering, that's what I like. I'm using the same brush, but if you ha don't have the brush, use uh, a 6B pencil, a little bumped up in size, as I told you. And now we're going to a new layer and going to write. I'm going to write summer. So if you saw my previous um, class in here before, you uh, know that I'm going to Press harder on the downstrokes and press lighter on the upstrokes, but we can play with it as well. If you're not as uh, familiar with the pressure sensitivity, there is a little workaround. So just write summer. So I'm making a big S. And may I think I'm going too big now, but that's okay. We can always shape it down. Push, lift, push, lift, push. Lift, push, lift, push, push, 
lift push lift push oh i didn't follow through so lift push lift lift push lift lift push i was thinking too much the e and the r are um one one so you have to uh, go through <laughs> so lift push lift push push lift so that will be my summer and if you have trouble on your lift and push you can also do just like um, with the e just create an e like this i automatically pushed you see but if you didn't do it just go over and make all the down strokes big bigger by hand that's no problem at all so now this one is too big but i can shape it and uh, i can resize it but i won't do that because you know it will get smaller so i'm leaving it this big and i'm going to distort it just bringing it a little bit in here and maybe when i want it a little bit uh, round I can also warp it, so I go to warp, and do I want, uh, I'm not going into advanced, because that will be a lot, so I'm just going to play a little bit with this, make it a little bit round, so, like this one, maybe a little bit down now, so uniform, and keeping it down so these lines won't touch. So that's my first word in this class. Now I'm going to a second layer. For the word school, I'm going to use um, serif letters. So I'm going to write school and you see I have a little space in here above the L and it has to be filled to uh, keeping this shape. So that's where I put the word is. So now I'm going to write school on a different layer again, yes, on top of that. So I'm taking other letters. And you know when I'm writing, I'm not uh, speaking too much. <laughs> so here I can create a bigger downstroke like so. So if you're not very good at hand lettering and brush lettering, that's with uh, pressure sensitivity, you can always draw them by hand. Like so. And yes, you can draw them out with uh, an outline. Oh, I'm sticking to my <laughs> my thing here. And, um, well, I'm not that perfect. And I don't want to take a lot of time for this. So that's why I don't do it. So just play whatever you like. Make thicker downstrokes by repeating it, go over them. And here I have a lot of space, so I can play with that as well. It's just to your own imagination. So two O's. Make them bigger. This side. This O can be a bigger. And you can play along just to your liking. And yes, this would take a lot of practice if you're not familiar with it. So here I can write the word is. And maybe I can bump this a little bit towards the ends. Mm. So I'm following the shape of this one. And here I can also play with it a little bit, distort it, maybe a little bit, like so. A little bit down because this is almost touching. Uniform again, pull it down, and I think this one is ready too. And then I create another layer and write the word awesome. Well, if I can manage that in one piece, <laughs> well, let's try. I'm on a new layer, I can always delete it, but it's rather weird looking on a life, so <laughs> I try and do my best. So I'm going to stay within these lines, thicker down strokes again, and just play with it and follow the lines. Oh, 
Oh, you see, I can be a little bit quiet. <laughs> Yay! Everybody's happy now. I'm quiet. You know, sometimes when I draw and when I letter, I keep in my breath. And my husband is saying, you, go, you need to breathe, you need to breathe. <laughs> so I sometimes forget that. So, oh, like here. Little M. And now I'm going inwards and I don't want that. So I have to keep it a little bit straight. And just a small E right here at the ends. So now when I get rid of um, everything around it, like the background drawing, so you can still see it's the shape of a glass. So it's still rep representing a, a glass, a wine glass. So this piece, I think it's done. You can play along with uh, just some shadowing and highlights in the glass if you like. Maybe you would like that, maybe not. It's up to you. And the fun thing I always add when I'm playing with a chalkboard drawing is to make sure everybody sees I drawn it. <laughs> so I can create a little bit of piece of chalk. And for that I'm using the same brush. It doesn't matter what brush you use. As long as it's a bit chalky, you can also do it with a dry ink brush. It's also a fun brush, but I will be using this one. Just draw a small rectangle, fill it in with color. Make sure it's not too clean. You don't do a drop fill. I don't like drop fills mostly because I think it's going to keep the hand drawn part away from it. And uh, that's okay for some um, illustrations, but not for this one. It's a weird chalk. Piece of chalk, but maybe I can distort it a bit, make it longer, and then making it a little bit smaller, <laughs> uniform. Let me zoom out. Yes, well, maybe a little bit more. Mm -mm -mm. What can? What am I going to do with it? Distort it a little bit. Yes, I think now I've got a kind of a correct shape. And uh, this one I'm going to duplicate. And the one below I'm going to turn black. So I select this one, choosing my black and choosing fill layer. So now my chalk piece underneath is black. I'm going to move it a little bit to this side and instantly, yay, we have a shadow there. But you can see I have still a bit of an outline because this one isn't completely filled. So I'm going to do this another time by selecting and fill lay fill layer. So now you see the white outline is gone. And uh, now I'm going to choose uh, to my wet magic wand. I'm going to choose uh, Gaussian blur. Choose layer for this one. And because these lines are very straight, I don't want them straight because I want to have a softer shadow. So now when I've chosen Gaussian Blur, you can see you can slide here to adjust. And just by sliding all the way to the right or left, you can make changes to that. I don't want to have it all the way down, just slightly smoother, slightly softer shadow. So it's at 5.3% at this time. And I think, I think I'm still here. <laughs> My doctor medication. <laughs> Sorry, Fenna, I'll come to you in a moment. <laughs> so I just want to finish the last piece of this by going underneath the, the ch um, ch chalk. Yes, the piece of chalk. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit um, <laughs> out of my, uh, my comfort zone right now. I didn't remember I uh, set the alarm clock for her. So underneath my chalk and underneath my shadow, I will be creating with white some lovely piece that's also in his um, 
set in his chalk set, uh, the chalk flakes, and just by touching there some pieces of crumbled chalk are laying on your chalkboard. <laughs> That's awesome. If you don't have that, you can do it with uh, like a 6B pencil. Just put a little bit of tapping. There you can create your own pieces of chalk. So that's also possible. So I hope you like this uh, short tutorial on a chalk board. And uh, well, you can do any shape. Uh, think of it as um, maybe you can draw a heart. And then on a new layer, you can type your message to your loved one and then delete the outline again. And then you will have a lovely written piece. So I hope you like this one and uh, maybe I will see you later. So have fun with it. And if you want to uh, try this, please put it in the notifications below and I can see it. And you can also tap me on my Instagram account. See you next time. Bye bye. Um, <laughs> out of my uh, comfort zone with the alarm clock went off. I forgot one piece. So I'm back again. So um, for this one, I'm going to my black. And I forgot some important thing. So I go all the way on top of my white piece of chalk, create a new layer, put it on clipping mask and um, go to my airbrush and choose soft airbrush. And here, maybe on halfway, uh, see through at the down part, I'm going to create a shadow. You know, that's some piece I think it's has to be done on my chalk and I've forgotten it because of my alarm clock for my dog went off in the video. So yes, now it's completely done. Sorry for this <laughs> and I hope you still like it. Bye bye.